Hey everybody, hello and welcome back to our channel Info Island. So, today is 27th April and we are back again with the daily dose of our current affairs video. In this video, you will get to know about some events that will be helpful in your future competitive exams in competitive exams, whether it is SSC, UPSC, Bank, CEO or any other exam. So, let's start our video. So, the first question is, the second Semicon India Future Design Roadshow was recently launched in which city? Is it option A, Hyderabad, option B, Chennai, option C, Bengaluru, or is it the option D, Gandhinagar? So the correct answer is option C, Bengaluru. The second Semicon India Future Design Roadshow was launched recently in Bengaluru. This roadshow is being organized with the aim of attracting investments in India semiconductor design ecosystem. So the next question is, which city is the host of Asia Economic Dialogue, the flagship event of Ministry of External Affairs? Option A, New Delhi. Option B, Pune. Option C, Gandhinagar. Or is it the option D, Chennai? The correct answer is option B, Pune. The Ministry of External Affairs flagship event on geoeconomic, the Asia Economic Dialogue was recently held in Pune. During the event, themes such as global growth prospects and meeting climate targets were discussed. Next question, which state is set to get India's first marina? Option A, Kerala. Option B, Odisha. Option C, Karnataka. Or is it the option D, Tamil Nadu? The correct answer is option C, Karnataka. Chief Minister Basavraj Bommai has confirmed that Karnataka is set to get India's first marina, which will be constructed in the Udupi district. Next question. Who has been awarded the 2023 Marconi Prize? Is it the option A, Hari Balkrishnan? Option B, Ranjan Gogoi? Option C, Amitabh Bachchan? or option D, Raghuram Rajan. So the correct answer is option A, Hari Balakrishnan. Computer scientist Hari Balakrishnan has been awarded the 2023 Marconi Prize. The Indian origin MIT professor has received the Marconi Prize for his fundamental discoveries in wired and wireless networking, mobile sensing and distributed systems. Next is, Dibang Multipurpose Project, India's largest ever hydropower project, is being set up in which state? Is it the option A, West Bengal? Option B, Arunachal Pradesh? Option C, Sikkim? Or option D, Uttarakhand? The correct answer for this question is option B, Arunachal Pradesh. Dibang Hydropower Project, which was approved by the central government recently, is India's largest ever hydropower project. Next question is, when is the Civil Accounts Day observed every year? Option A, March 1. Option B, March 3. Option C, March 5. Or is it option D, March 7? The correct answer is option A. 1st of March. The 47th Civil Accounts Day is observed on March 1, 2023. The day marks the foundation of the Indian Civil Accounts Service in New Delhi's Dr. Ambedkar International Center. Next question. Which institution releases the Methane Global Tracker Report? Is it the option A, UNEP? Option B, IEA. Option C, UNFCCC. Or is it the option D, World Bank? The correct answer is option B, IEA. The Methane Global Tracker Report is the annual report released by the International Energy Agency. According to the latest report, Fossil fuel companies release 120 million metric tons 
of methane into the atmosphere last year. The report found that no effort has been taken by the fossil fuel companies to bring down the emissions. Next question is, VAIBHAV as in Weber Fellowship Scheme, which was launched recently is associated with which field? Is it the option A, sports? Option B, research? Option C, MSME? Or option D, finance? So the correct answer is option B, research. On the occasion of National Science Day, that is February 28, the Indian government launched the Vabhav Fellowship Scheme for the Indian diaspora abroad. Next question is, which country has recently announced to ban TikTok from all government issued mobile devices? Option A, Australia. Option B, Canada. Option C, India. Or is it the option B, Japan? So the correct answer is option B, Canada. Canada announced that it is banning popular social media app TikTok from all government issued mobile devices. The decision follows similar moves in the United States and Europe also. The country said that it has determined that the app presents an unacceptable level of risk to privacy and security. The next and the last question for today's video of current affairs is, what is the name of the disorder of the autonomic nervous system characterized by a rapid rise in heart rate? Is it the option A, ROTS ROTS? Option B, POTS POTS? Option C, SOPS SOPS? Or is it the option D, P-O-R-S, PORS. So the correct answer is option B, P-O-T-S. The P-O-T-S or which is also known as postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome is a disorder of the autonomic nervous system characterized by a rapid rise in heart rate after standing up or lying down. Research is being conducted to identify the relationship between the POTS and COVID-19. There are at least 1 million or more new POTS patients in the United States as a result of COVID. So that was all about the questions guys. I hope you liked this video. And if you liked our video, please like, share and subscribe to our subscribe channel. इस वीडियो को आप जितने अपने दोस्तों में फैमिली में फैला सकते हैं फैलाएं बिकॉज ये हमारे आगे आने वाले कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम्स में बहुत हेल्पफुल क्वेश्चंस होने वाले हैं थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वाचिंग